Counselor, do you think that uh, Andrew McAvoy, the acting chair of the Windsor Public Library Board, has the library's best interests and the community's best interests at heart? I can't speak what, um, what his intentions are with respect to the Windsor Public Library and, and the ongoing uh, issues that we've been having uh, with respect to the relocation and the new expansion of it. But what I can tell you, the actions have not been working in the best interests of this community and the Windsor Public Library. We are five days away from appointing a, a, a permanent board that is going to be seeking consultation and making uh, these decisions based on the new ideas and new opportunities that are ahead of us and the ones that will be implementing these new ideas and new opportunities. And so I would hope that uh, uh, the chair of the board and the outgoing board would be respectful of the transition uh, period that we have. It's five days we're talking about and we'll have a new board in place. We'll have a very comprehensive consultation that would see uh, very broad base uh, analysis and, and work with a business plan and make the best opportunity make the best decisions in the best interests of the people would it be fair to say you've been frustrated with mr. McAvoy uh, this whole process has been frustrating uh, it's it's very um, very confusing as to why uh, some of the things are being said are being said I don't know what the intentions are I don't know what the motivations are but I can tell you it's not in the interest of this place it's not in the interest of the community uh, we're embarking on something that's very exciting the potential for a new world-class modern facility that can encompass uh, leads technology as well as a very uh, IT aspect to it. Uh, we've been engaging some uh, private sector uh, uh, businesses that would partner with the Windsor Public Library, a future uh, set of the Windsor Public Library would make this place a world-class place. It's part of being a livable city, it's part of being a smart city, and uh, we need to keep that as our main focus and work in the best interest of this community.